What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video where as we know this is our little starter base and it's looking a little messy so I want to clean this up today but previously we worked on the coal plant and it's making a small amount of megawatts precisely 1200 and we also made a little platform where we're making some copper sheets because if we didn't make the copper sheets we wouldn't be able to make the pipes so in today's video I want to clean up all this mess and then head over to the hub where we can start working on some bloody steel because I've got I've unlocked the basic steel production but we want to start working on steel beams and start getting steel pipes and all that kind of good stuff so then we can start getting logistics mark 3 and expanding all of this but also I want to then open up the mam because I I was about to put another mam but I want to start looking into expanding onto our current depot storages because what we currently have is fine and dandy, but it's not suitable for the demand that we need, especially for reinforced plates, because we're flying through them like there's no tomorrow. But I also want to look into getting the production amplifier. So I want to do that as well. So first thing. Right. So I've decided I've decided I need to unlock steel right now because I'm after the depot because I'm sick and tired of running around back and forward to, you know, make getting concrete. For this steel production building i'm building so i'm getting the frames i need to get some uh, uh rotors and then i'm gonna unlock that and then i'm gonna quickly handcraft some steel beams just so i can make some steel uh, steel beams some steel ingots to make some steel pipes and then i'm gonna unlock the depot so i need the frames i don't need that many uh where's my rotors around here right rotors and then i can send this off unlock the steel which then allows me to then start the production of steel which is what I want to do today. I'm a spoon. I need wire as well. And then I can come back in here. Quickly go boop, boop, and boop. Send that off. Unlock steel. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two. The versatile framework can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and mm -hmm. save the day. Fix it and humanity is relying on you. Thanks. So now we've got basic steel production. I'm then going to quickly just go into here, make some steel ingots. As you can tell, I've already got some coal and iron on me. So I'm just going to make some steel ingots because what didn't occur to me is because we unlocked the Mercy Sphere in the actual MAM, I've been sinking the steel pipes I've been getting from the hard drives. So I could have used them to unlock the dimensional depot, and then I can then get the concrete, and I can also get the uh, reinforced plates in the depot, because I'm sick and tired of running around for them right now. How many do I need again? I need... I need... Oh, I needed to make the sand fluctuators, didn't I? I needed to make the sand fluctuators. Hold, 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 hold. Where am I going? Back here again. I needed it for this. So I need 100 pipes. I need 100 pipes. 100 steel pipes. Now I can handcraft them. I need to make reanimated sand. Oh, I don't have enough reanimate. I need to go and get some sand. This is a very, very, very bad fight. I am messing everything up there. This is what I'm going to do. I have a plan. That was very, very, very poor ability. Oh, I don't even have any rods. I guess I can go and get some rods. <laughs> <laughs> that was an extremely bad skill issue. So I've been trying to get the alien technology. I wanted to get this now unlocked, which we can now do. And that means I can then start aiming towards this. Oh. Sam fluctuator recipe unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated SAM to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible potential for smart storage. Your threads shift solid to fluid to a tapestry. Matter, 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 and mind and melody. Huh? Huh? Um, I now need to handcraft some fluctuators, which I need steel pipes. So I need to make more steel ingots. And then I can make steel pipes. And then I can make one fluctuator, because I need to make more some. Got it. How many did I need? I think I needed 10. It would have been easier for me to just put a miner down. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be honest with you. More Sam, more fluctuators, 
And now I need to get my, uh, my, my Mercy Sphere from the hub. Okay, so let me grab my Mercy Spheres. So I've been a little bit of a busy bee, as you can tell. I put a miner down and a constructor, like I said I was going to do. And the constructor actually needs 120 per minute on the sand. But because of this, manu this manufacturer, this miner is actually outputting a 75 at an overclock. Because this is an impure node. This is outputting 75. So we've got this being input at 75, which is making me 18.75 reanimated sand at a clock rate of 62.5%. So all I need to do now is actually just put down a storage at the end here. I don't know why I'm defaultly putting it down like that. Uh, but I'm just going to put a storage down the side here like this. And then just connect a belt up and then get the reanimated SAM to go into there. So we can utilize that whenever we need to in the future. So now that we've got the dimensional depot, I just need to now make more fluctuators, which does require more steel, which means I need to go and get more coal, I think, because I've got iron. Actually, I need to get a bit more coal and a bit more iron. So let me come down here, grab some iron from these miners. I'm not going to lie to you because I, I want to be honest. I've already recorded this. I'm re-recording it for you guys. So it's a bit weird for me. So I I'm going to be honest. I've already built the Sam. I've already grabbed this before. I'm doing it all again because I lost the footage because I'm an idiot. So I'm grabbing this call again. I I'm breaking the fourth wall right now. <laughs> and then I want to put a crafting bench down just so I can make some steel ingots. And then I want to turn them steel ingots into steel pipes. Them steel pipes will then get turned into some fluctuators. Wait, I didn't, I didn't even... Oh, my God. I didn't even bring any reanimated Sam with me. Well, today's going to be a good day. So, now that i made the steel pipes, I've got to guess I make the long run back all the way over to the Samoa. Or you could say swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. 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 Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nope. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no valley low. Right. I'm back at the Sam. I need to grab some of you. So then I can start handcrafting basically some of you. So then I can put down the dimensional depots, which will then store items to the cloud. So let's take a look inside of this and we can see that it's going to only do 15 per minute right now. But we can upgrade that inside the MAM. So if we just place one of these down, we can see that all of them are going to require at least three Mercy Spheres per each upgrade. So this is for the actual storage itself. This is if we want to upgrade from our personal inventory to the cloud and transport back into a depot. And then this one here is to enable the uploading to the cloud. So we need this one if we need to upload it. But that requires, what, computers, which does require a manufacturer, and plastic, which will come later. Alone in the dungeon now, trying to survive. They're alone in the dungeon now. Do -do 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 do 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 in supermarket. Mmm, that's your real smart. All we do is from the snot. We can power you from heart. You can save the planet, but items to work is everywhere. Do 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 Right, so now that I'm back over at the main, well, starter base, you could say, what I need to do now is I need to remove this storage here. I'm going to put this down here. I'm just going to empty my storage in there, just like that. And then I'm going to remove this storage, remove this belt, remove that belt. Well, move that leg, move that belt, remove this assembler. Because what I want to do is I want to get reinforced plates into one of the dimensional depots. So I'm going to rebuild the assembler just a little bit further away. And then what that will allow me to do would be to maybe put a splitter here so it goes into there, but then also into the depot for me to use personally. I say here, but it's going to go here because that's going to be for frames. So I'm going to put that into there so the frames can get built again. Then reconnect the power. Oh, I need cable. I put that in my storage, didn't I? Bab, bab. Connect you to you. That should give me power. Put this back as frames. Bada bing, bada bosh. Now I just need to put a splitter here. Which I don't think I'm going to have the resources for right now, am I? I need plates. Grab the plates, place the splitter, then the belts. And then I can put that not into there, 
it needs to go into a dimensional depot, which I need the Mercy Sphere and the, the things. These. So then I could plot that just there, like so. Grab a belt, press R, snap that into there. Boom. Bada bing. Bada bing. Wait, did I just set that backwards? Huh? So now that is going to go upload at 15 per minute when these get in here and the first one's been uploaded. We should then see the new tab in our inventory. There it is. So now we're getting 15 plates per minute inside of our cloud storage. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a storage on the top of this one because this is the uh, constructors. And then I'm just going to grab a lift and I'm going to put that straight into there. So that means we're now getting concrete into our dimensional depot as well. I can only place two right now because I don't have any more uh, fluctuators. So I'm going to go and start working on the steel, which we're going to do momentarily. Momentarily? Momentarily. Where you, then you'll see the belt's been placed, the structure's been placed, and then all is left to build will be the foundries and stuff. Okay, so before we're doing the steel, I thought it might be worth to upgrade all of this. So I'm going to delete this and turn it into this. So it's a hell of a lot cleaner, and I brought the module engines back from Season 1 because... We did have a few requests in Season 2 if I was going to do this. It looks very industrially. Plus, these are now able to expand through our belt process. So, as you know, we do have Mark III belts on the horizon, which does mean we can then duplicate everything to uh, be able to support the Mark III belts. Because these are on pure lines. So, we have iron plates being made here, iron um, rods being made up here, and then on the top shelf... I've got one half of the rod engine to make the screws, which go onto four 120 lines because we're, we're making 120 per each line, which then come down a lift, but ignore the missing lift because that's being unused right now. That then goes into the assemblers down here to make rotors, reinforced plates and frames. And then I added a little bit of the walkways. There's a little bit of a sparkle for, for me to get around. This storage here is for uh, plates. These over here. So we have the one next to the assembler over there is making me frames this one is rotors uh this one here is just the excess rods that are not being done because i don't have smart splitters yet and then over here we can see we have the new dimensional depot and i put that on top of a normal storage because that is receiving reinforced plates which then that goes into a lift into there which then goes into my pocket dimensions and you can see, and I can just go into here, drag the reinforced plates into my inventory, or I can consume them here directly. So yeah, I'm super happy with this one compared to what it was last time. It was very messy. It's a little bit more organized and things are moving and bloody grooving. So on this side, we do have all these biomass burners, which I can actually delete as well. So just like that, I deleted them. And also, yeah, I've changed the foundation. So I'm sorry if I flashbanged you there. I get a little bit of revenge every now and again. Especially if you're in the live streams. I don't know what to do with the uh, space elevator though. I don't know if we should leave it here or integrate it within the factory somehow. But this, again, is the starter factory. But we now need to mainly go and work on steel. Okay, so this is where we're going to build the steel plant. It's located right here in the northern forest. And as you know, to the east, it has quite a few coal nodes. So in regards to iron, we have two pure nodes here. And then just to the side of it, we have three more pure nodes. There is a fourth, which make a, which will make a total of, what, six altogether. But I need a nobelisk to blow this up. And I've basically made this little tabletop just to kind of get everything in for now. So as you can see, I've made some little curves to bring the coal in, which is four 120 lines, bringing in a total of 480 coal. And that comes from this area right here. So we have one pure node here, a normal node here, a bean here, and then and I uh, coal node here and then another one here making a total of three pure and one normal but the normal node I have overclocked to 200% to give me a total of 120 per minute just in case you're curious and why we have four 120 lines and then this will all come together in this place where the tabletop location is and then uh yeah that's gonna give us a place to start putting our foundry down setting up steel and all that good stuff but more than likely, I'm going to bring these lifts up a little bit higher and work around the coal and the iron nodes because they're going to overlap because we need to try and get one coal, one iron into a foundry. And I definitely need to make this a little bit bigger, I think. So let's take a look at a foundry. And as we can see, we're going to make in steel ingots, which is going to require 45 ore and 45 coal per minute to make 45 steel. I do have a new alternate recipe, which I found in the, uh, in the MAM, in the hard drive, of course. And it requires 50 steel and 30 concrete. They're gonna give us 50 steel pipes 
I don't know how if I like this. I feel like the it's too steep with the concrete, and I feel like this could be useful and good for a uh, aluminium plant with an alternate recipe mix of stuff. So I think that'll be quite nice to use. But obviously, we're going to use the 45 and 45 per minute to make 45 steel ingots per minute. All right, so I need to think about where I want to put these. Because we want to look at bringing two lines in, which is definitely going to be from underneath. I'm just wondering how many we're going to need. So if we're bringing in 120, 45, 45, we're not going to be able to use a full stack of... Unless I was to underclock them, I could make them all 40, 40, 40 if I wanted to. Which will probably be a better shout. So if I was to make this to 40 per minute, we change coal and ore to 40 per minute. That means we can put three foundries per each line. And that will give us uh, 40, 80, 120 steel ingots. That will give us four lines of... 120 steel i think that's not a bad thing to do so let's put two three down and then i would like to oh i need bloody frames right so after getting some frames i think what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna put the conveyor holes down uh here just like this and then on the under underside of things what i'm gonna we're gonna have to do is look at i'm just wondering if we've got enough for, actually no we're not gonna have enough room here are we this could be a bad idea i'm just thinking because this is where all we're coming from and i'm gonna want either coal to come around this way i'm gonna expand this actually and i'm gonna push this coal back from here and i'm gonna swing this around here so i'm gonna bring it onto straight i'm gonna put you here come along here like this i think this is what we're gonna do and then i'm gonna get the splitters here so if i just grab myself a lift it's going to be a Mark 1. I'm going to put that as an input and then put that in there. And then that'll be a splitter, which will have the input of 1 going in. You're going to be a 2 coming around into here. And then... Why did I connect that the way I connected it? Why did I do that? <laughs> Let me do that and then connect to the... There we go. And then we can connect that in. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to flip this to this side to turn that around. And this will then need to be iron. So we want iron to come in here. So this will be this first iron to come into there. And then these are going to have to come over and then lift and turn around here and go into the dedicated lanes as well. So I need to do this now for all of these. So I'm just going to... Actually, no, this needs to go into a splitter as well. Hmm. Because that can just be a dedicated line. Yes, spawner. So then that can go... I'm actually going to move these closer. I'm going to put it there instead because then this will be able to snap a lot better. Uh, did I connect this one up as well? I can see the ore, but I don't know if I'm, it's coming through. This needs to come back by one. So I can get this to turn into here. This ore needs to come down here. I would like to maybe spin this around this way, like so. Quickly reapply that belt. Did I put that too far? Oh, my good. I did. I need to put that there. Bring that down here. Connect you to there. You're the input now here. This can then turn into there. It can then move along this manifold. So this can then come along here like so. So we're going to turn it now so it inputs from the left. I'm going to do that for this three as well. Bring you in, connect you onto this side, and then bring this Mark II down this line. Bring these over into my inventory so I can actually fill more of that space up so it's not just sitting there. And I'm waiting 15 bloody reinforced plates per minute. Then we need to do this side as well. So if I was to just do that, and then that... We can then get this coal line to push through here, like so, then bring that to the, like that. Uh, and that is the coal and iron set up for one line. Now I just need to sort this out so it works with the rest of the foundries. Right, so I've managed to put all the foundries down. So I've got four lines of three with mergers facing the opposite way with uh, the inputs on the inside. I've still not worked on the logistics floor. Because I've just been kind of figuring out what I want to do with this and how do I want to place it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a lift from here, take that up onto a next floor here where we can then put the constructors, which are going to be for it. So this is making me 120 um, uh, steel ingots. And then the constructor, which if you don't know, actually needs uh, 60 steel ingots per minute. I'll put 15 steel beams. So that's going to get times two above two two because i'm going to actually make three lines of these to be steel beams and then this one is going to be for steel pipes because that requires 30 so we can put four constructors which will give me 20 steel pipes per each constructor giving me a total of 80 so i'm going to do that above um and then we need because the reason i'm going to do three steel is because we're going to need you know some encased industrial beams and that's going to cost us some steel beams as well and i want to make sure we've got steel beams for our own personal use in regards to mark three belts so after placing the top floor, we know we're going to be bringing up the belt from here. 
So let's just, for now, just put this as a placeholder and this is where it's going to go. I now need to figure out where I'm going to put... Maybe I should bring the other one in as well, like that. So if I was to put this as a constructor here with the output here and then make this... I think that's going to be the best way for me to do this instead of making this the output. So I want to make this nice and cushy a little bit closer. So to do that, I'm just going to put a conveyor ball here, like so. I'm just going to put a belt there like that. Then bring in... Well, it will need to be the Mark II. And then if I attach it to there and take it down, it'd be a lot closer to here than it was a minute ago. And I can just remove this and do that for all of them. And then I'm going to put down the constructor. Let's say here. Is that going to be too close? No, that should be fine. Because if I was to put a merger on this side and get it facing towards me, like so, that's going to come along here. Uh, maybe it is a bit too close because it's going to need splitting as well. Maybe it needs to go back a little bit. Let's push it back a touch. So if I'm going to put a splitter here, like that, get myself a constructor, maybe put it to you. That is going to work better. Because then I can put a merger here, and then I can put a splitter here, and I can put a constructor here. And then that should start working out fine and dandy. Yeah, that's going to be the way we do it. So I need to put two constructors here, two constructors there. Bring another lift up over here, which it needs to be a mark. <laughs> Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. And my bloody spoon. Did not mean to do that. Blade runners for you. Sometimes they give you that extra bit of boost. <laughs> um, oh, I need to the, the oh, I need to put the thing up there, don't I? Did I put a lift? A lift? A bloody ladder? I did. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Get a Mark II lift. Careful. Here. No, not there. Because I need this to be closer here. So, oh my god. Bits. 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 Just... Just do that. No. Just... Just do that. And that. And that. So that doesn't happen. And then... Okay. That needs to go... Here. Then a belt. And then a lift. Like that. I need to do the same for that side as well. Which is here. Conveyor polar, jump back across here, grab a lift, take you to the, and obviously connect them up with the belts. And then I just need to do that. But on this side for the pipes, I just need to do four constructors. Um, so let me remove that. Let me do a mark one in there, mark one there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to switch you up, switch you into the, that's one, two, three lines there. But I'm going to get a merger. To go there, to go there, switch you to splitter, come here and come here. Then you're going to there, then there. That's one, two, three lines. So this actually needs to be extended further than I originally thought. So we need Mark II's going up here. Mark II to connect there. Actually, this needs to be a Mark I. Uh, you need to be a Mark II. Like so, you need to be a Mark II, you need to be a Mark One, And then you need to be a Mark II. Right, so, um, I've now got all these set up and running. Obviously, I've done my little fake daisy chaining and connect them all up. They've all got the recipes. And if some of you are wondering why I'm using uh, two and saying 40, because I'm using 120, downstairs, I've underclocked these uh, foundries to actually only give us 40 per each one just so then we're not playing around with funny numbers of 45 45 and the end one giving us 90 that could be possible that is doable little frog in my throat is doable uh, and it probably would be the best thing to do um, but I'm just kind of doing this just for you know everything's even kind of things so yeah I could put you know 45 45 and 30 uh, but I might, might as well do this so I'm not overclocking underclocking things um, but we're still consuming everything in a 40, 40, 40, consuming 120, consuming 120 iron and coal. And then 120 of uh, steel is coming out, going upstairs into two constructors, which require 60 steel ingots per minute, which is then making me 15, ing uh, 15 steel beams per each constructor. These then are merging with these three because that's a duplicate and that's a duplicate. So that's making 30, 30, 30. That's then going to be 90 steel beams coming along here, going into storage. And then this one over here is steel pipes, where this is made, bringing in 120 steel ingots, going into these constructors, which require 30 steel ingots. So 
120 divided by 30 is 4. And then that goes into these, which output 20 each. And then all of these uh, at 80 per minute is going into this storage. And then next, we kind of need to sort out the logistics underneath on the logistics floor um, to bring all the iron and coal into the correct foundries. And then I need to go unlock the encased industrial beams because there is some concrete down here I'm going to want to bring up here to utilize within that recipe as well. Right, so back over the hub, I want to look at advanced steel production. And for this, we're going to need the steel pipes uh, the modular frames, the rotors, and the concrete. I've just set up the steel frames to be powered, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then, once we've got this, we can get the Mark II miners. We're going to get the encased industrial beams, the stators, uh, mortars, and automated wiring. With this, obviously, with the, the automated wiring we need for the phase to be complete anyway. Then we can start looking into unlocking Logistics Mark III, which is going to help me so much because... Right now, reinforced plates have been a bane of my life just recently, uh, if you've been tuning into the live streams anyway. Then we can start working towards, you know, blueprints, enhanced power in instructors. All of this is literally going to come to us once we get this up and running. And then we can start heading to bloody oil, which I can't wait. Um, so what I need to do now, I wanted to quickly check in here because I do, I need two summer sloops. I have one available. I'm pretty sure I've got one. I've got three. I have... Oh, my God. I should... Oh, what an apps. How long have I had three for? Because if I've got three, I could have unlocked this. I could have unlocked this with by putting these in there. I could have unlocked the boosting and the reinforce... Oh, my God. The reinforced plates I could have overclocked by with the summer sloops. I didn't realize I had three of them. I thought I only had one. I'm a spoon. I'm going back to power. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. So everything is powered. Ignore this down here because this is just a storage container that's just got stuff of mining in. And that's a bean over there. I've also re-changed the actual direction of where this iron ore was coming in. Because as I said before, inside here, it was a little bit of a pain to kind of work all this stuff, uh, stuff out with how close it was. So now they're all powered, as you can see. And now we're making steel beams and some steel pipes. And this is coming through slower than what it is because I just messed up on one of the pipes being a Mark 1 and a Mark 2. Wait, my iron ore was a Mark 1 and it should have been a Mark 2 on the belt. I messed up. So that's that up and running. Now we just need to get some steel pipes, take it over to the hub, upgrade that with the frames and whatnot, and then start working on encased industrial beams. Because just down here, we have some limestone anyway. Because this one's a normal, and then this one is a pure, so we can use them for the steel. Uh, so which is all good. Right, Bean? All right. Now I need steel beams, steel pipes. Right, let's put the concrete in there. Let's put the rotors in, which I don't think I've got enough of. I need to get some frames. I have enough of them, and I've got the pipes. I just need to get some extra rotors, which I think I've got some in one of these containers that's just dotted around, like, that's full of absolute crap. Uh, I'm pretty sure this end one. I've got 53. Is that all I need? Yes, it is, actually. But I best get some more just for safe measures because it more than likely I'll get somewhere else and I'll be like, I need more rotors. And then I've got to run back here again. So let's do that. And I'm thinking that I put a dimensional depot on the steel beams. The reason being, uh, obviously with the steel plant being so far away now, uh, it saves me running back. I might do it with the pipes and in case industrial beams as well. And I'm looking at maybe increasing the upload speed as well because 15 a minute is pretty rough. But it's a good balance for being in two and, you know, tier three and four. Um, and then I might up get this to upload stuff as well. So instead of me dumping stuff, I upload it instead. So if I've got too many, you know, concrete on me or too much cable, I can upload it instead of delete it. I think that'd be easier. So let me throw the rotors in there, send that off. Oop. Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions, it would only demotivate you. Thanks, Ada. Appreciate it. So now we can unlock the, we've unlocked the Mark II Miner, 
which means we can help uh, with the uh, with the stuff. So we can start boosting a lot of product. And that means we can start looking into, well, when we unlock it, we can start looking into Logistics Mark III. So we can start getting Mark III belts and start moving stuff at 270 resources per minute. Then the industrial storage container, because I feel like this is going to be the new way of doing central storage. And I was talking to Chad about this earlier. I would think... A lot of people now are still going to do central storages and then the top input well sorry the top output there's going to be a dimensional storage on top of that with the output going from the top port going into the dimensional storage it then being backed up in the industrial storage and then being smart split before it goes on the input to a resource sink if it overflows then i guess we can start getting hyper tubes right start getting some cannons up and then maybe 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 I will use parachutes because I don't have a jetpack yet. Right, so I've just got back from the SAM uh, and what I've done is I've, I've actually put down, if we look here, I've put down a depot for the reanimated SAM because I'm going to be utilizing this quite a bit uh, in making the SAM fluctuators because I need to handcraft quite a bit um, to unlock uh, the stuff in here, right? So if we go into alien technology, I can now pick up a summer sloop and I've just found another one near the, the, the SAM ore. So I'm just pick that up and now we can now do that, which means, oh. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy is pulled directly from distant sources with no latency or loss and shows significant enough similarities to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Let the effigies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Yo. No. And now we've got this, which we're gonna unlock alien energy harnessing, so we can start researching that. Confirm. And then Ada's gonna speak again. Potential for harnessing alien energy completed. Fixit has identified two development tracks requiring additional research to integrate summer sloops safely and efficiently into Fixit technology. The loop organ contains scripture contains instruments to compose symphonies of root and rot and recycling. Shrines to evolution and revolution. I see. It seems we truly are building understanding. They're speaking to each other and it's freaking me out. And now we can unlock this, but I need 80 more of the uh, fluctuators. I've got circuit boards because I found them at a hard drive. Same with the computers. But unfortunately, I've only got 15 computers here. And for me to unlock the upgrade terminal, I need 17. So I need to go and find that unless I've got to wait until make some in oil. Uh, so I'm going to get this. I'm going to handcraft quite a few fluctuators and then we can get this upgraded. So then I can use summer sloops to over, well, double output my machines but at the cost of additional power, four times to be exact. Right, so I've got enough to upgrade to 30 per minute on the um, the uploader, because 15 per minute is a real, real pain, uh, especially if you're going through resources like there's no tomorrow. Um, Dimensional upload speed increased. Part nice. of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. Shallow mind? Pretty ripples? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. Uh, for, I, I see a cat fight coming here. I want to increase the storage, and I do want to try and get this if we can, but I want to try and upgrade these as well. I do have 13 Mercy Spheres available, and I want to get this as well so I can amplify the double output and get at least 30 reinforced plates being made not 30 15 but saying that we're going to be slowing down using them now and consuming them because i do want to put steel in here steel beams and steel pipes so i want to see if i've got enough to make where is it storage i need two of these which are, i need 20 sand fluctuators and i can put one on the steel beams and pipes and then we should be good i guess and i want to increase the storage on that so let's go and add them I guess. Right, so now I've just hooked up the steel pipes. So now we've got five items in here. This is filling up pretty quick. We've got a lot more items in here. I still have 11 Mercy Spheres. Uh, and now we've got steel pipes and beams in here. Having steel beams in here is going to be very essential for when we want to start placing Mark III belts down. And then I'm thinking with the reinforced iron plates, we could possibly switch that up, especially with the steel pipes as well, with something we kind of need when we need it. So this one is flexible. This one's flexible. 
So obviously, if we want to, you know, just um, expand this, we need more Mercy Spheres. Uh, and in some cases, I might need encased industrial beams because I might be working on train lines. I might need encased industrial beams in replace of steel pipes. So I've got to switch it when I switch it, right? You know what I mean? And all that stuff. So yeah, this is now up and running. What I'm trying to aim for now is just keep upgrading this MAM so I can kind of get a bigger storage. Uh, because I want this, so I increase the depot expansion slot, uh, and I would have saying to chat as well, I feel like it's just going to double the stack size every time. So this will go from 500 to 1,000, 100 to 200, 100 to 200, 200, 400, 200, 400. 200, 400. And it's going to do that. And every time we upgrade it, it just adds an additional stack on top of it. Um, and then we've also got this bad boy, which we uh, can kind of get in tier 5 once we get some more computers. We, we can unlock this whenever and place this down if we was to go and explore hard drives and we can actually get the computers so um yeah i want to get that and then i want to possibly unlock that if i'm going to find two additional computers somewhere which maybe maybe we'll find oh there's a slug down there um but yeah i've also done a massive slug hunt this uh through this uh whilst i've been getting this built and uh we've got quite a lot of slugs i think i've got like 160 odd slugs now and we got quite a few mercy spheres and i didn't realize how many summer sloops we got so that is that okay so i've got enough to upgrade the damage to the depot so we're going to hit the start and research on that and then nothing's changed wait oh i need to confirm it <laughs> i was waiting for it to pop up but Dimensional everything's double now increased to 200 percent Refining manipulation of SAM allows us to now deconstruct non-living matter down to its atomic components in one dimension and store it in basic bound states in another. We do not resonate with the tribute song. Do not worship at the window. Desecrate our temple gifts. This shallow serenade is sour and salt. My intention was not to encroach, if that is what upsets you, nor was it to dispose of material I do not waste. I do not waste. <laughs> she has to throw that in there. Well, we've got all our storage now upgraded, which is going to be uh, help me a lot because when I'm kind of just idling or building a factory, at least they can stack up now. And they'll be there for when I need them, which is pretty cool. How long? Five days since last incident. I think that's the highest we've had. I think I've died near enough every couple of hours in stream. So, yep, that's been fun. So there we have it. We have now done what we needed to do today. We cleaned up this whole place, got rid of the biomass, upgraded our dimensional depot with better speeds and better storage space, and then worked on the steel. So now we have steel beams being made and steel pipes being made. That going into storage and then moving into the dimensional depot. So we still need to do some encased industrial beams. And then also, maybe we add some more structural support and some decoration with this. So who knows what we do next time, but I do want to get smart splitters and maybe the zipline tool and all that kind of stuff in the next video. So as always, check out my content right here and uh, I will see you in the next video. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.